hello hello guys welcome back to my channel this is Char I wanted to come on to review Love and Marriage Huntsville season 4 episode 4 now I have discussed that I wasn't going to do reviews and I'm really not because the season is kind of blah but what I will do is whenever there is an episode that moves me to discussion I will come on to dis and discuss I'll play it by ear a la carte <laughs> And also another disclaimer is I have dropped my camera so if the images go away before the video is in its entirety I do apologize in advance now opening episode Tiffany goes over to Melanie's house they discuss the pajama jamma jam that happened the weekend before and Tiffany basically discussed how her and Kimmy just hashed it out like they discussed their differences Kimmy came on like a little brand new a little bit like like she wasn't aware that she went on went in hard on Tiffany during the reunion because what it was is that T uh, Kimmy really was mad because one she was mad that the woman was telling her something about her son-in-law she didn't know and two she was mad that her husband didn't tell her about her son-in-law basically it's like I'm good enough to be his mother-in-law but I'm not good enough to know what's going on with him and you want me to, to partner in raising him really I should know these things you know what I mean but that's a whole nother issue um but yeah her and Tiffany hashed it out they cleared the air and now they're cool um as it was left last night on both ends they were cool they left the room to go have a little privacy to discuss Stormy the new friend of the show from Melanie comes in Ask them what they were talking about. I wouldn't have revealed to them what we were talking about. So they better than me. But she butts in and asks them what they were discussing. And basically Tiffany kind of. Tiffany and Kimmy rehash what they have already discussed and cleared up. And um, bottom line was that Tiffany worked at the Chamber of Commerce about five years ago. They asking her questions about it and questioning her about it as if it just happened. So Stormy was like, oh, you don't work there anymore? And, you know, Tiffany used an analogy. It's like discussing this. It's like somebody asking me about what I did or said when back when I was 12. They were in awe about that. They found that to be so rude and offensive and like she was being smart. And I'm like, huh? All she said was, is like, you know, y'all asking me something so long ago, like, you know, something I did back when I was 9 or 10 or 12. Like, it's not even relevant anymore. She left the job with benefits, meaning she's letting them know she left in good standing. Because had she not left in good standing, she would not have gotten benefits. Benefits, I would imagine she's talking about a severance pay or I don't know. Maybe the job kept her benefits going after she left. I don't know what job does that, but, you know, it, it may be actual health benefits. But I'm assuming she's talking about a severance pay. She left in good standing. She got benefits even after she left. She left to open up her own company or start a new job, whatever. I mean, it's over with. So... Um, when she said that, you know, Tiffany got all swole up in the chest, like, oh, she crazy, honey, you chill, you tripping, and, and, you know, she left the room with her plate of biscuits or whatever it is she had, and, you know, her nose was like, it just spread all over her face, she was so disgusted, right, and it's like, why are you just want something with this girl, I mean, I can see if she came for you and telling you something about your business like she did the other people, she hasn't done that to you. So why are you so mad? But, um, and mind you, I'm not going to discuss her, Tiffany and Stormy at the bar. I'm just not. Because Tiffany, I mean, Stormy was just too mean and too rude. And I'm just not too condescending. And I'm just not going to go there. Because I'm not sure how I feel about Tiffany at this, I mean, uh, Stormy at this point. So, yeah. Um, she discussed, uh, reiterated to Stormy, Stormy storms off. And, um, so that's that. The basis is that her and Kimmy are good now, but now it's beef between her and Stormy. So whatever. I, you know, I don't even know if Stormy coming back, you know, obviously I guess she is, but I don't even know if she's going to be back next season or whatever. I ain't got time. Anyway, um, they go on to talk about more about Tiffany and basically Melanie reveals or not necessarily reveals, but Melanie tells Tiffany that you did come in a little opinionated and that 
you ain't even really got to be friends with the girls if you don't want to. Meaning if they causing you all kinds of havoc and drama, you ain't even got to be friends with them. Don't worry about it. And my mouth dropped. Because my thing is, that's all Destiny wanted from you last season. That's all Destiny wanted to hear from Melanie last season. Had she gave Destiny that, I don't even think Destiny would have tripped on her a couple of times. She tripped on her during last season. She probably wouldn't, wouldn't even done that. She would not give that to Destiny, and I don't know why. I mean, give me your thoughts, you know, on, on why you think she couldn't give Destiny that. So Tiffany, you know, she smiled. She was happy because what it is is that it's support. It's saying that, you know, my friend supports me, and she understands that, you know, these girls that she's bringing me into don't really like me. I ain't got to really be friends with me, and she ain't going to feel away and treat me a different way. You know what I mean? She, you know, felt good about that. And um, so that was that. So they went on to discuss Martell in the book signing. Tiffany explained to her that, you know, she saw that Martell was extremely hurt, like deeply, deeply saddened that the kids were not there. And she wanted to express to Mel, like, you know, make sure going forward with this whole co-parenting thing that you don't make the wrong decisions as it relates to these kids based on all the drama that's going on between you and Martell. And it's like, y'all better shut up when it comes to Martell and her. She knows Martell better than anybody. She was with him for 12 years or 13, 12, 13, 10, whatever. She knows him better than anybody and she knows what lengths this man will go to to get people to feel a way about Mel, look at Mel a different way. You know what I mean? Like, he knows that. Because as far as I'm concerned, if it was truly, truly about the kids, he would have made sure that this book signing was done during a week or a day that he had them. For you to know that you don't have a good communication with Mel based on the fact that... um he don't even have her real phone number. He can only go over to her house to actually get or drop off the kids. You know, they're not really even talking. Why would you leave it to chance to do something on her week? You know what I mean? And he knows that Mel is always here or there based on her business or whatever. You know what I mean? He's fake. He's just fake. And, you know, he's always on demon time as it relates to Mel. And I'm done with Martell. So that's that. She goes on to discuss her first marriage. And basically is that, you know, the man didn't really make a lot of money. She had a whole different vision for her life. You know, she didn't really want to live paycheck to paycheck. She wanted to be able to travel and have assets and have a, a savings account and be able to go buy whatever car she wanted to buy or, you know what I mean, be able to, you know, shop whenever she wanted to shop. And I guess based on him not really making a lot of money she really could only rely on her funds to do that and since it was only her funds she can't really move and do that as she pleased and she didn't want that and you know I know last season she revealed that she ended up cheating on him and she also said that at some point he ended up dying if anybody remembers that or not but um yeah I believe that's what she said last season so she feels bad you know what I mean and you know she explained that how he really loved her and her son unconditionally and that she don't even know if she'll ever get that kind of love again you know and she says this is why I love my current husband so much but she also revealed that that man her first husband was her soulmate now that I probably would have kept to myself because you know her current husband might feel a way about that but, um, yeah, so, you know, they hugged it out. Mel gave her a nice heartfelt hug. And, you know, so that was a good heartfelt um, conversation that she had with her good friend, Melanie Holt. So, right after that, we see um, Tiffany. Now, we see Kimmy, actually, no, Letitia, actually, go over to Kimmy's house. And they discuss, right? They, uh, a lot of the scenes are picking up from the reunion. So, Kimmy was just trying to explain to Tisha, you know, the reason why I had stated 
that I wouldn't be friends with you or someone like you is because somebody I don't really know that I'm constantly arguing with, I won't be friends with. Because I'm just not going to carry that drama with that person if I ain't got no reason to. So somebody like that, I would drop. You are my sister-in-law. So I'm going to I'm I'm just keep sticking it out with you and keep trying to make this work is basically what she was saying. She's not going to give up on their relationship. So Letitia... Uh, you know, she acted like she was uh, touched by that or whatever. So they go on to talk about the um, slumber party over at Males. And basically she told her that Kiki was talking about her bringing up her marriage. Quite frankly, I don't feel like T Kiki said anything wrong. Like, I don't feel like she really said anything too much out the way, right? She just basically said what we already knew was that there were rumors about her husband cheating. Now, you know... It goes without saying that this stuff started before there was an actual actual show. I mean, down in Huntsville, this stuff was already being passed around um, around the water cooler, cooler that the man cheated or half cheated or whatever. And they have discussed that. But she basically reiterated what Tisha has continuously reiterated is that as far as I'm concerned, my husband has not cheated. So she reiterated that. I don't think she really said anything wrong. Now, I mean, the fact that she was over at Tif Tiffany's, I mean, um, Mel's house, at first I thought that was wrong, but they are friends. They are already friends. Like she uh, made them acquaintance to Mel and Martel with her and Marceau. She became acquainted to them through Tisha and Marceau. So that is why she's over there. You know what I mean? We didn't know that ahead of time. Last week before this re was revealed, I too was saying that Kiki shouldn't have been there. But hell, she already has been acquainted to her with her and are considered friends of males because of Tisha and her husband. So um, hell, it's not out of place for her to be there, right? So whatever this is between... um, So basically, Kimmy was saying that you need to talk to um, Kiki one-on-one and, and get that straight. So fast forward to black, um, Tisha and Kiki meet up at black and, um, they talk, whatever the secret is that Letitia told Mel and Martel, she said she felt that she needed to tell, uh, Melanie. She felt that she needed to sell. So to me, I feel like it has something to do with something illegal. I don't know what, but it, it, to me, I just felt like it had something to do with something illegal. I don't know what, but if, you know, otherwise, why did you feel like you had to reveal or tell Mel what was going on? Because she said they were going over to her home without us, without me and Marcel. So I just felt compelled to tell her what was going on. So to me, in my opinion, it's got something to do with illegal I don't know. Hopefully, we'll find out what that is. You guys, let me know in the comments what you think. So, that was that. Um, uh, Tisha storms and storms out, goes in front of the uh, black and calls Kimmy to tell her what happened. Kiki comes out and say, well, now who you talking about me to? You know what I mean? So, they have this history where they discuss and talk about each other's business to other people. And, you know, if, if Kimmy be honest, that's what Tisha has done to her. So it's not brand new behavior to hear this about Tisha. So the jury is still out on that, how that's going to play out. I'm sure we'll see that in the next coming episodes. So now the guys. The guys go to Black, Marceau and Maurice. Uh, the Whitlows come over, or not the Whitlows come over, but Lewis, he comes to Black. So they can hash out their issue with the marriage, the marriage comments and, and what uh, he feels about their marriage. Now, Tiffany is the one that said they had a bad marriage, not Lewis. So you can't hold him accountable for what his wife said. But thing is, is that Marceau dogs his wife out so much on national TV. Don't get mad when people want to call you out on shit that they see. That's the bottom line. You are the one that makes her insecure. You are the one that, uh, snatches her confidence as it relates to her and her marriage, you know what I mean? You are the one that belittles her and, and have her insecure, basically. You know, you are the one that does that to her. And we've seen that from you time and time again. So don't get mad when people call you out about this. 
you know, people are going to have something to say about you in the marriage when we see what goes on. Like he emotionally abuses her as far as I'm concerned. He has her on this emotional roller coaster. He has her second guessing everything as it relates to her and the marriage and their union and their bond. You know what I mean? He has her thinking that she's not that important. Hell, she had to basically have a breakdown to, to get a job like he wanted her to stay home with the kids and, and 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 not work not use her degrees or what have you not to mention if you guys remember in season what was that two she has basically said that she, uh this man was hardly ever home to have dinner with the family and he has yet to go on a vacation with them. Like when she takes the kids to Disney World and stuff, Marceau don't be there. But yet you want to jet off to a 14-hour trip to Africa. And you want to get mad at people that comments on that shit and say that your marriage is not good. It's not up to par. Whatever. <laughs> Marceau is just full of shit. And he truly, truly is full of shit. And I don't blame Lewis for calling him out on it. But, you know, they, they hashed it out. And um, they shook hands or whatever. And I guess basically Lewis is like, I'm not going to talk about your marriage no more. And I guess Maurice, uh, I'm sorry, Marceau is not going to talk about his marriage. Which I don't know what he ever said about their marriage. All he said was that they were married for two seconds. And because they've been previously married and now married to each other for only 11 months, it's nothing that they, that they can tell him. That's all he's really said about them. So I don't know why he needs to apologize about that. I mean, that's what Maurice was trying to get him to do, but whatever. I mean, anyway, I'm not even going to discuss them anymore. Because the thing is this, stop dogging out your wife on the show and won't nobody talk about that in the mess. You know what I mean? And as far as Kiki, like I said, I don't think she said anything wrong. She didn't say nothing that we didn't already know. We knew that the damn rumors didn't come out the clear blue sky when the damn show started, right? About him cheating. Like, she had to have heard these rumors prior to the show. She talked about it with her cousin. Like, she didn't never even say nothing wrong. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Care if you share. And we will talk later. Um, as I said, I will play it by ear with these episodes. But this one, I just felt like I did have something to discuss. Ciao.